Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is all about using peppermint oil on your cucumber plants. I'm going to be doing a new gardener series on all the different oils and sprays that I use and for 2020 it'll be my most updated version of the recipe but today's about peppermint oil and how to use it on cucumber plants. Well when you start noticing all those little specks on your cucumber plants, that's usually spider mites and spider mites have to be seen with a magnifying glass. They start on the bottom, they work their way up may not always be spider mites, but if you get them, I get them every year, start using peppermint oil and that really irritates and repels the spider mites. Let's go over to the group of cucumbers over here and I'll show you all the steps. So here's everything I use to make my peppermint oil spray. There's the recipe. I use a gallon milk jug per spray. So just label it peppermint oil. It's one to two teaspoons of oil into a gallon of water one tablespoon of the Castile type soaps, the pure soaps. If you don't have that and you're using any kind of soap or detergent or soap that has detergent, it gets confusing, just go with one or two teaspoons to start. The reason you put oil, or the reason you put soap in there is because oil floats and if you don't put in the soap, the oil stays on the top and you're basically spraying water. So you put in soap, shake it up, oil gets dispersed through here, stays dispersed for a good 15 to 30 seconds. Pour that into your pump sprayer. I'll show you how to spray. And between sprayings, every 15 to 30 seconds, just give this a good shake. You got peppermint oil throughout the water. You want a nice, even coat of peppermint oil on the top sides of the leaves and the bottom sides. Peppermint oil I sell at my seed shop. The Castile type soaps I don't. You can pick them up anywhere. And I also sell these measuring cups. It makes it really easy. So the first thing that we do, and maybe actually there's four things. I like to grow vertically because as they grow up, it's going to be real easy to get and spray the undersides of your leaves. You can also inspect them much more easily. But the first thing you do, let's just say you're already growing vertically, is you look for this type of spotting. We're going to remove those leaves first. Lots of stuff looks green. Some of the things look spotted. That could be signs of spider mites. You actually have to get in there with a magnifying glass and look. But when you start seeing these little dots on there. That's usually something feeding on the undersides. Sometimes you can see webbing, but it doesn't really matter. When you start seeing that pattern, it's time for your peppermint oil. Okay, let me get my scissors. We're going to cut away these leaves. Okay, same principle. Growing vertically, first step. Second step, let's remove these damaged leaves. And you can either just cut off the top and leave the stem, which I like to do sometimes. It's easier. But when you start seeing this dotting, just assume that it's spider mites, um, some sort of insect, soft body type, and this is how you treat them. You can't save these leaves, so there's no point in keeping them on there. And again, I just cut the stem right there, remove the leaf. And you go through, remove them all. Anything that has the yellow spotting, And this one's kind of small, but if it was a little bit bigger, I would train it upwards. So that's set up for the next step. Actually, let me remove all the yellow spots on here, and then I'll show you the next step, which is spraying it with water. A jet or a spray of water on the undersides will rinse off the soft-bodied insects, spider mites, aphids. They're weak. They don't really come back to your plants. So if you wash them off, you slow the progress. And the whole idea about using sprays is managing pests and disease. Sometimes you can't get rid of them 100%, but you can slow them down so these cucumber plants will, will produce nicely. And when they're beat up, I'll put in some new ones. So basic water spray under the leaves. You can do that every time you're watering just to rinse off any of those weaker insects. All right, so it looks harsh taking off a lot of leaves, but this pattern is really typically spider mites and other problematic insects. So the first thing, oh, I keep saying that, but really the second thing, because you're trellising up, is a spray like this. I recommend some sort of nozzle. And just get in and wash the underside. You're knocking off all the small insects. This goes a long way for prevention and slowing down the progress of the spider mites moving upward. They basically start on the lower leaves, they nest, they multiply, and they work their way up the plant. So now, we've sprayed the undersides, 
knocked back some of the problematic insects. Now you want this to dry before you put the oil on. So we're using oil for two things. One, it coats the insects, it irritates them, and it might even kill them off. It just can't say that it does that, but it definitely slows them down, it irritates them, and repels them. It makes it uncomfortable. Imagine, you know, covering yourself in peppermint oil spray, getting it in your eyes. That's what it does to these little tiny insects. It also masks the scent of the plant. When we cut these leaves, pheromones are released, maybe cucumber beetles follow it, find it, come to here. But damaged plants put out a smell, it can attract insects. So we're going to put uh, the oil on for two reasons. To irritate and repel the insects that are there, and to mask the scent so maybe other insects can't find it easily. Now the peppermint oil spray, again I sell this at my seed shop, two ounces goes a really, really long way, can be sprayed once or twice a week. All your sprays are going to be different. Peppermint oil is used for what I've just described, and it's mild. So you can use it once or twice a week just to keep repelling and irritating those insects and to mask the scents. You can use this on other um, crops in your garden. I'll talk about those too, but today I just wanted to focus on cucumbers. So we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna come back and spray. All right, so the plants are pretty dry. You're gonna soak this on, on the undersides. Make sure you shake your container, your gallon sprayer every 15 to 30 seconds, but we're going to really soak it on until it's dripping. When this dries, the oil will stay under there. There's enough oil to coat these small-bodied insects, really annoy them, repel them, and slow down the damage they do to your plants. Now, we took off a lot of leaves. You can give these a fish emulsion right when you're done. Don't water the leaves, just water it in the ground. It'll help with the leaf production, but just make sure you're really getting the underside. You can do this once or twice a week, whatever you want to do and it's really, really effective. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be showing you how to use dust on cucumbers against cucumber beetles, and I'm really gonna try and do the oil sprays and the dusts in a comprehensive way so you can see all the new recipes. There it is again if you wanna take a look at it. And this is how you can manage spider mites, soft-bodied insects, and problems on your cucumber plants. The oil can also help with powdery mildew and other fungi because it covers the spores but that's just an extra thing the oil might do. I really use it for repelling and masking scent. And scent. Yeah, masking scents. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.